Hello. Hello. You all right? Yes, thank you. Good. <laughs> We've all cleaned the ashes off our foreheads, I see. Oh, yeah, I was, uh, mine washed off in the rain yesterday, I think. Oh. <laughs> I think my ashing was a little bit on the runny side this year. Too much oil. Too much oil. Yeah. Which oil did you use? Extra virgin, uh, vegetable or rapeseed? Oh, it was extra virgin olive oil. Specially selected by Tesco's. Uh, well, I, I, I... Not, not your, your oil of chrism from your... No, I must admit, after I'd made it, I read a report that somebody said, oh, you're supposed to use the oil of chrism. Yeah. But I've we never did. done that. But I did. We did, yeah. Oh, well, that just means Bemis is holier than... Lowly. Well, it's long been said. <laughs> <laughs> we know holier than anyone else. Often less holier. No, that's not right. Less holy. Yeah, we've got to be careful this week, though, because I'm supposed to be having a new viewer this week. Welcome, Chris's new viewer. Yeah, Let's hope you would. She was called Helen, moved in a couple of months ago to the village. She's she may not want to be publicly Red named Chat, or Red Chat. <laughs> yes, we've been. I've been told. I've been asked not to uh, not to mention one person's name. Yes. I'm yeah, about because... to say who's that then. Yeah. <laughs> that wouldn't be right, Chris. Well, because you know, people might be secret rev chat watchers. Yeah. Yeah. But as Nicodemus in John was a secret follower. The secret, yeah. the secret follower. He came at night because he was frightened of the light. I was frightened of what the Jews you know, Our viewing figures to see who watches at like one o'clock in the morning who doesn't want to be seen to be watching during the day. <laughs> I don't think the viewing figures are that discerning, to be honest. I can't narrow it down to that. <laughs> I'm just grateful anyone watches us at any point in the day or time. So welcome, new viewer from uh, that uh, strangely named group of parishes, you know, in um, in Dottery and uh, and uh, wherever else it is. Good to see you. Thank you for watching us. Do send in your thoughts and ideas on um, what you're going to hear now, because it's all about temptation, Chris, I think is the theme today. Is. Did you notice how I slickly, slickly got into that? You slickly got in the owl. I remember as a child, I was always taught I can resist anything except temptation. <laughs> Quite right, <laughs> Quite Very right. wise. My, my Lenten fasting uh, was severely tempted on day one when Mountjoy School turned up with a massive homemade chocolate cake to walk in Wednesday. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, you know, nothing like a bit of temptation from the um, off. I do remember one year I decided to give up crisps for Lent. I came back from my Ash Wednesday service and sat down and ate a packet of crisps. <laughs> <laughs> I did it's speak about that a little bit. I did speak about that last night at the uh, at the service, about it's easy to give up all those kind of things. It's not so easy to do some things that... Uh... Well, I'd like to disagree because I think it's really hard to give up things like that. Really? Yeah, yeah, I think my shape says it's really hard to give up things like that as well. I'm sorry, but I think that is hard to do, <laughs> alongside other things being hard as well. But It's willpower. That's all it is, willpower. Yeah, I don't have any of that. No. Really? Not, not blessed with willpower. Reading. Anyway. No, not... Generally, when it comes to anything, like going to bed early. Do you think not if we keep talking, David will try and get... Yeah, should we just carry on? Then? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> should we have a pause? No, let's keep going. Please. <laughs> very rude. Luke chapter 4, the temptation of Jesus. So Jesus, full of the Holy Spirit, returned from the Jordan and was led by the Spirit in the wilderness, where for 40 days he was tempted by the devil. He ate nothing at all during those days, and when they were over, he was famished. The devil said to him, if you are the son of God, command this stone to become a loaf of bread. Jesus answered him, it is written, one does not live by bread alone. 
Then the devil led him up and showed him in an instant all the kingdoms of the world. And the devil said to him, To you I will give their glory and all this authority, for it has been given over to me, and I give it to anyone I please. If you then will worship me, it will all be yours. Jesus answered him, It is written, Worship the Lord your God and serve only him. Then the devil took him to Jerusalem and placed him on the pinnacle of the temple, saying to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down from here. For it is written, He will commend his angels concerning you to protect you, and on their hands they will bear you up, so that you will not dash your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, it is said, do not put the Lord your God to the test. So when the devil had finished every test, he departed from him until an opportune time. <clears throat> Gosh. Well, there you go. My striking first comment on reading that today is I've always thought of Jesus quoting scripture it is written but the bit that jumped out to me there if you want to go into a Lectio Divina sort of thing was the devil quoted scripture back to Jesus it is written that's exactly what I was thinking that the devil is as literate in the ways of God as Jesus is yeah and that's what makes him so dangerous <laughs> Is that not because at one time he was an angel before he went wrong? Well, that's it. One, yes, the, allegedly. The fallen angel, isn't he? Mm. And it does, I mean, it does beg the question about whether we hold for the devil representing all evil or whether we have a sort of, is he a person like Christ is the human of the, you know, the incarnation the human version of god um is the devil well incarnate you know and at this this point in the gospel it's an implication that it's just a conversation between two people isn't it yeah. physically in front of each other yeah and jesus goes on to teach when he's asked what should we pray lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil mm -hmm. yeah I think you know, I've been finding it quite interesting because I've got a I've got a baptism on Sunday, and it's a fascinating reading to have with the baptism mm -hmm. because the symbolism of baptism is all about turning away from the devil and evil and Absolutely. turning to Christ. Yeah. So it actually makes a really interesting reading of the battle between the devil and Jesus, as so it highlights the need well for baptism and to turn away, and to deliberately make a conscious effort to turn away from these bad and from the devil and turn to Christ. So, especially with the lights of some of the evil that's going on in the world at the moment, it's, uh, I think it's quite an appropriate one to have a baptism in. It's got me, almost got me quite excited about it. Yeah, um, well, of course, and the chronology is that Jesus has just been baptised and the first thing the Holy Spirit does is drive him into the wilderness. Yeah. And and often, anecdotally we talk particularly adults who are being baptized you know once they've made that public affirmation of faith often the first thing that happens or soon after it they're challenged on it there's a challenge to it because you know devil doesn't like people who put their head above the parrot and, parapet and say i stand for this <laughs> he wants to kind of bring them down so it's an interesting concept yes he leaves the apathetic alone Hmm. I mean, my view of the devil is entirely shaped by the screw tape letters from C.S. Lewis. Um, and that idea of, you know, the insidiousness. And, the insidiousness uh, of old gentle devils, let's go down and terrorise. Well, and that the way that they use the work of God to kind of infiltrate and to, you know, tempt away and to... You know, and actually, uh, the apathy is is basically that they celebrate apathy. You know, the devil celebrates apathy because when someone can't do something and doesn't do something, then 
they're not a threat. It's when people stand up and declare that they will, you know, resist because the Lord in t- tells them to, that the devil gets cross. If you if you see it as that yeah. metaphoric battle between good and evil constantly, um, it makes me want to reread the screw tape letters for a very number, huge numbers of times I've read it, but it really helps me understand that kind of the deceiver, the uh, the idea of the the devil being the deceiver, the the little niggler that suggests, no, you don't have to do that, or you don't need to be like that. You don't, you know, you could just do this, or you could do nothing. You could do nothing. And actually, you know, standing up against evil, for example, we you can't not talk about Ukraine and Russia at the moment. But what is flaw? You know, f- the problem for Russia is that people are resisting. People are standing up and fighting. Well, I think that's why everybody's admiring Ukraine, because every Ukrainian is standing up and saying, this is my country, you're invading my country, I'm going to do, I might not be able to do very much, but the little bit I can do, I'm going to do. And I don't know about you guys, but it's left me feeling a little bit hopeless. You know, useless that we're not really doing much, which is where it's quite interesting that we were having a chat before we started recording about, well, what can we do? There are local collection points to send things out. Will it be good stuff that's sent or will people just send their old stuff and rubbish? It's, you know what I mean? How can we help? And how can we help in a proactive, positive way that actually helps them rather than solves our conscience to think that we want to be seen to be helping? You see, that, last night I spoke a little bit about that um, sometimes the only thing we can offer is is the prayer from our hearts, mm-hmm. because we don't know what else to do or to give. You know, you can give the blankets or the um, cards and nappies or the, you know, toothpaste, whatever it is they're asking for, and you're going to put something out for us um, as a joint kind of advice what to give on to Chris later. But, you know, I was saying some, sometimes all we can do is pray. But if you're a person in the Ukraine and you say, you know, God understands this and he's next to you in the pain and suffering, I don't know if that would suffice for me sometimes <laughs> if I was about to be bombed out of my house or having to run away across the border some thousands of miles away into Poland or Estonia or whatever else it may be. And where do and where does where where does it end once you've taken over the Ukraine, which is a huge country, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. What what's next? One of the smaller states, because Mr. Putin feels they still belong to Russia. Does he attack Poland next? And the only thing that seems to be stopping him from doing that potentially is the fact they're part of Europe and are in NATO, and uh, he could get greater force forced upon him but it's easy to be the bully the the evil one the bully the one that picks on others when you know that they're not going to have anybody to back them up and that for me is where you spoke earlier about um people standing up because they know they've got no one backing them up really Mm. but i think i mean moving it away from the war a little bit but the and i i'm not very good at this so i i say this from a place of weakness not a place of strength but actually, all our lives, we spend time letting people be rude or unkind or um, wrong or nasty. And often we kind of try and, and smooth the ground. We make the peacemakers. We want to, we just say, well, well, you know, that they didn't mean that. Or that, you know, and we try and smooth it over. And actually calling it out and resisting and saying, you don't have to do it in an aggressive way, but saying, you know, that that is, you know, that is unkind, that is racist, that will not be tolerated here. Um, and having a, a gentleness, we were talking about this yesterday as well, about gentleness of spirit, but that doesn't mean you, you're a doormat. And actually being able to, to vocalise as equals and as adults, the, the struggle is important. And, and so... It's interesting, you said it's hopeless. I, I, I'm amazingly inspired by those people who are literally resisting this mighty country with, you know, whatever they've got to hand, the hammer or whatever it is. And the, the brave, brave people stepping out in front of Russian tanks and not being aggressive, but just saying, go home. We, we're, you're not welcome. You're not, it's, this is illegal. This is wrong. Um, 
And I just think how many times I've never, ever stood up to a tank and I hope, good Lord, hope that I will never have to. But I've spent lots of my life letting people say outrageous things in all kinds of situations and not being brave enough to go, actually, that's not okay. And, you know, and that's what Jesus does with the devil. You know, he just says, you know, you're wrong. You're wrong. And I will not listen to you. I will not hear your deceit and your lies because the truth that I know is that you don't put the Lord your God to your test and you don't know that God is sovereign and that God is love. It's uh, awfully good, I guess, if you're Jesus and you have that assurance and you're so assured and certain that God is able to do all this. But for some people, that assurance isn't there. And that's the difficulty. As you said earlier, Joe, that's when the devil, for want of a better term, the evil one, the badness, whatever, that's when they creep in. It's all right not to do. You don't have to believe. You don't have to do this. You don't have to do that. You know, and uh, and uh, that, 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 it, 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 you know, I love, that, I love that story about Jesus. And actually, I don't need to put God to the test. I don't need to do this. I don't need to do the other because actually, it's pointless. God's there, and but not everyone has that certainty or assurity or or or, or the ability to be able to react like that. I guess, and that's perhaps well, perhaps that's where we've got to in some way. Um, that's perhaps where we, in some way, have got to be able to step in and help them. Well, and where God steps in and helps us, you know, it's, it's only stuff we can model, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. As flawed human beings. Um, absolutely. But, you know, we've got to, it's just, it, all you can do is try, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So we are at the beginning of Lent. That's what we started yesterday. First Sunday readings you've just heard. Lent is the traditional time to give up things, and we've been uh, talking earlier about how easy or not easy it is to give things up. And uh, but uh, take something up. That's that's always a good thing, I guess. Take something up. Perhaps look at that passage that Chris has uh, read from Luke four uh, for yourself, and really consider it. And what he may be saying to us and to you and to everyone else. And, uh, you know, it's a good start. I hope your new viewer um, is uh, is going to could turn back on again, Chris, after this. We shall see next time I see her. Yeah. You never know, she might be so inspired, she even goes and looks through our back catalogue of podcasts. Oh, 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 a guaranteed cure for insomnia. Shall we? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I tell you what, I had a relook at the um, bishops of St Emmersby in Ipswich, Ooh. who were the original e inspiration, because I thought I'd better go back to the masters again. They're still at it, doing an excellent job, but they definitely have far less banter than we do. They kind of crack on at a really good pace. So, but you know. bishops. The bishops are very busy. They're they're very busy. <laughs> That's if we just got all the time in the world. <laughs> they're, they're, they're very, very, they're very, very busy because they've got everybody else doing things for them. And uh, you know, there we are. I must write to them actually and tell them they inspired us. They, they may are, not know. They are very. I think you should. I, I still think we should invite them to the joint. You know. Oh, can you imagine? Oh, we're, we were going to invite the bishop of um, so uh, Sherburn, weren't we? We were, but she couldn't come on the one on the one hundredth oh, anniversary. It was just you couldn't get her. But uh, I think we could still get her. Perhaps get the new bishop. He wouldn't already let himself in for, would he? I don't know if that's a good idea to let him loose on this initially. No, true. Oh, give him a good introduction to West Dorset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it may not may not make our promotion chances any good. Well, that doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, my my days of promotion have gone. So you're okay. <laughs> We're not in it for that. There is no. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> but there we are. So, dear viewers, good, good to see you, and um, we hope, hope, hopefully, you will come back again next week. And uh, and for uh, everyone who's uh, who's been a long term viewer, you're just as valuable to us, and we still like to hear your thoughts and uh, 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 of what's going on. It is encouraging when you uh, when you tell us things because you're quite right. Those who've said we're not sure. We just try to find the answer and to be as honest as we can about what we're discussing.
You can find us all on social media, Facebook, uh, Instagram, TikTok. Chris is, has an increasingly growing following on TikTok. Find him there. Uh, telling you about Ashing uh, in his most recent post. Uh, you can find us on our website, The Benefits of Egerton to Colmers, and or rather the other way around, Colmers to Egerton Benefits and Bones to Team uh, It's lovely to see you and have you with us, and we'll see you again next week. Bye. 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 Bye.